Hey, what's going on? Barnaby here. Got ourselves a high voltage situation going on. Talking about Jocelyn right here. Your gig here at Klein is product manager for heavy infrastructure. That's a big title. What's it all about? Uh, heavy infrastructure basically has two branches. We've got power utility, which these products are specifically designed for. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the heavy industry side, which is like your oil and gas, your mining. Um, there's also a lot of applications for these t testers as well in the heavy industry side. Okay, well let's get into it because we've got contact and non-contact high voltage testers. So let's start with contact. All right, our new contact tester is going to be good for 5,000 volts up to 36,000 volts. Mm -hmm. That's AC voltage. Okay. It's going to attach right onto a hot stick here, keep you safe distance from all the voltage. Yeah. Now, how do I know if it's working or not? It has your on button here, and then it's also got a self-test feature. Mm -hmm. Before you use these products, you always want to self-test. Make sure that the tester is in good working condition. Self-test here. Sounds like everything's good. Okay, so is it pretty hardy? I mean, let's talk about uh, variable weather conditions out in the field. Yeah, these are drop tested to make sure that they're safe from falls, mm -hmm. um, as well as being water resistant. So if you do have to work out in the rain or in slightly wet condition, you're still gonna be okay. Okay, and at the end of a long, hard day, after it's uh, saved your life over and over again, you just put it right back into its little case, and it's good to go for the next time, right? Yep, safe, uh, convenient carrying case, makes it easy to find in your truck, you got all your stuff in there. Mm -hmm. It's also going to protect it, all the foam is going to make sure it's not getting jostled around. Okay, so that's the contact, and now we have non-contact, so why would somebody use non-contact over contact? It's all about uh, what the utility or what the job site has specified, mm -hmm. um, you know, some of it's just preference, what they've tested and they know works. Personally, I would always go for a contact tester because I don't want to worry about ghost voltages or interference from uh, you know neighboring conductor lines. Mm -hmm. I want to just get right up in there and test the line I want to know. Okay, so let's uh, go through these two and talk about the differences. Okay, these are our two non-contact testers. Mm -hmm. The first one, our HV NCVT1. Again, we've got our self-test button. Mm -hmm. Everything's good to go. Yep. It's got two ranges. It's our dual range tester. We've got a low range, which is 50 to 1500 volts, mm -hmm. and then a high range, which is 1500 to 132,000 volts, also AC. Okay, and I see it uh, accepts the adapter as well. It's perfect for your hot stick. Again, it's going to fit right on there, mm -hmm. keep you safe distance from the voltage. Okay, so what about this guy, the broad range? Yep, this is our broad range non contact tester, mm -hmm. HVNCVT2, has a self test function just like all of them you make sure it's good and working sure um, this one actually has seven different so sensitivity selections so you can kind of step it up if you're not quite sure what voltage you're approaching you can kind of work through the ranges until you've got the sound uh, you know it's there okay. this one goes all the way up to 230,000 volts AC Whoo, man that's hitting the high end right there and so I see it has an adapter yep it's it, it'll fit on your hot stick as is mm -hmm. or it also comes with a shotgun adapter if you don't have your hot stick or you don't want to get it out you can attach your tester on there just like you would to the hot stick mm -hmm. but then this will go right on to your shotgun this is the universal shotgun that they have at utilities mm -hmm. Nice and easy to manipulate there with the end, it's oh, real tight in there. Yeah, and what about uh, the dropsy moments out on the job site? These are drop tested, mm -hmm. they're also water resistant, and they come in the case for a little bit of protection. Okay, all good stuff because, you know, at the end of the day, A, you want your job to be made easier, and B, you want to stay safe. Obviously, not in that order. Stay safe then get easy, right? That's right. Hey, good information, and you know, it just keeps coming from Klein. And how would you stay in the loop on this, you might wonder. Well, the great way to do it is Facebook because, boop, it just keeps coming. As we feed out the information about new stuff, there it is for you. But also, there is YouTube, there is Instagram, there is Twitter, and you can also text Klein 37527, and Tradesman's Club. Got to mention that because that is a great way not only to stay in the loop, but also to be in line for free stuff as it comes down the pipeline. So again, all different ways to stay in contact with Klein. And if you're going to be in contact, be safe about it, right?